Hi everyone, welcome to Previsual Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how you can place and showcase your design using Provisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and very often an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset not only for you, but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions, and instead spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed pants brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and various shapes. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action, to give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D models section and select an object for our tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of track pants. This is the one. Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. Okay, let's continue. This is how the default setup of the mock-up looks like. The fabric and seams are so extremely detailed. They look incredible. Such attention to details is rare to find. Now let's add the design to the pants. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design layout in another editor. I've prepared a few design elements. Let's add the first one. In this window, we see the editor where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. It's amazing how easy it is in ProVisual. Now we'll add the design to the right leg. To do this, click on the Add Image button. Now let's place the design properly following the UV map. Next, we will turn the model around and we'll add the design to the back pockets. Here we will align the design based on the UV map and the 3D model preview in the left window. Looks great. Let's save it. Now I'll show you how you can easily change the material and color of the fabric of this track pant. On the design panel, select the background layer to make it active. Now we select the proper material in the materials gallery. This one looks good. Let's apply it and change the material color. 
You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Now in the materials setting, let's reduce the texture size. Next, we move on to the waistband to set up the color of the material. Once we are done, we turn the model once again to see the pockets and apply the color to them. Okay, we will copy this colorful material now and apply to the back pocket flip. And to the seams as well. Turn the model to set up the model parts at the front. Applying color to the aglets, this small part should match the orange details of our design. Let's copy this material and apply it to the eyelets too. For laces, we will pick a color that will complement our design. For cuffs, I'll copy the color from the waistband. This track pants look great. They will stand out in a sportswear shop for sure due to our bright design. There's just one last step left, to color the fabric inside the track pant. Great, all the materials are set up and the design is in place. Let's spice things up with a cool background to really show off our work to the client. We have lots of pre-made background options in Pro Visual. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here we can select the colors, and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've made for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one we've made ourselves. Excellent. You can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Saving our work. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. Save your clients money by using ProVisual. Yes, you can achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product would look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating track pants design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.